I was just going about my normal Saturday morning with the kids, very relaxed, and I got a call from Eloise, who's my cousin. Her father, my uncle, had collapsed on Euston Station. I'd just come off um, a night shift and was uh, making my way to the, to the train station. As I walked in the entrance, I noticed um, someone on the floor, surrounded by quite a few people. So my initial thought was to go and tell the uh, station staff, inform them that um, a man had collapsed and to call an ambulance. Couldn't feel for a pulse. Couldn't tell if he was breathing. Um, then he had an agonal gasp. And I thought, well, someone's got to make a decision here. Immediately asked the station staff to get a defib, because I knew they had one on the platform. And I cut his jumper off and ripped his shirt open and we started CPR. The defib was given to me. Put it all on, the correct position, and it advised me to shock him. I shocked him and we carried on CPR. The LES turned up and we sort of worked with them as much as we could. So I went and found Eloise in St Bart's in the hospital. From talking to the doctors, I found out that his heart had stopped. She didn't believe that her father would still be alive were it not for the prompt actions of a passerby, a couple of British Transport Police officers and an off-duty firefighter, Nathan. That night, when we'd all got home, we just decided that it would be really amazing to try and find the off-duty firefighter who had helped save my uncle's life. I got a call off the British Transport Police Inspector. He said John was doing well and he was going in for, I think, a triple bypass. And then he did say to me, do you see what's happening on Twitter? So I just put out a tweet, not really expecting anything much to come of it. And very soon, within a space of a few hours, the fire brigade said that they'd found the firefighter. Nathan did an amazing job that day, along with the two British Transport Police officers. And I think why Nathan is an everyday hero is that day in, day out, people like Nathan do amazing things. And I'd really like to pay tribute to that, and it saved my uncle's life.